Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Nasrin Padasale. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what is a minimum mark to qualify the joint CSER UGC NET examination June 2021 under this uh, chemical sciences. Okay, so chemical sciences. Uh, so let me clarify with you. So before entering it, let me share, share with you how this minimum mark, who decide this minimum mark means this national testing agency only will decide this minimum mark to qualify any examination. Previously, it was the CSAR HRDG group who had taken a whole responsibility of conducting this uh, exam and everything. But you know, from 2019 onwards, this national testing agency has involved in conducting all examination that is uh, they had made the CSAR examination to be computer based test okay so before entering into analysis let me share with you this particular PDF which has been officially released by NTA so chemical sciences there are two things there are two categories lecturership and JRF so my personal suggestion is that if you are currently pursuing your MSc chemistry or you have completed your MSc, degree, MSc chemistry last year then try to attempt your exam under JRF category please don't think clearing lectureship easy because you know lectureship there is no age limit people at any age there are they can write an examination and you need to compete more with the uh, people say in lectureship question a person with 70 years he, he or she he will have 40 years at chemical sciences experiences so it is really hard for you to compete with those type of people and for JRF it is very easy even though the cutoff is very higher. So, if you take chemical sciences, every year nearly 30 to 40,000 candidates will apply for the JRF portion under this chemical sciences. As the years is passing on, you know, many students are getting aware about this chemical, uh, sorry, aware about this joint CSR examination and every year total number of students is increasing. So, this is a statistics for chemical sciences friends. So, now I will share with you what is the minimum mark to qualify your CSR examination chemical sciences under JRF category. So, before entering into it, let me have you this particular thing. How minimum mark to qualify the exam will be decided by NTA? There are four factors. First factor is the total number of students applied. Say 10,000 students has written the examination means the cutoff will be around 35 marks. Since instead of 10,000, if 15,000 students has written the exam means the cutoff will be around 15. Lesser the number of students applied, lesser the cutoff mark will be. That is minimum mark will be. Greater the number of students applied, the greater the mark will be. Next factor is with respect to the difficulty level of question paper. How much question paper is difficult? The question paper is very easy, the cutoff will be very high. The question paper is very tough, the cutoff will be very low. Next factor is the marks scored by the topper. More the proper marks will be, then this also will have an impact on cutoff. Then factor number four is the past year cutoff. Okay, so here I had made a last 11 years of cutoff. So, the cutoff will be generally released in a percentage wise, but you know the exam is for 200 marks. So, I thought we can convert all the percentage into raw marks so that it will be very easy for those students who are watching this video. So, why I had made them as a blank means this EW category has been came into force only on June 2019 by NTA. So, that's the reason why I made it into so, this is a raw marks that you should score for all the year. I had given you this particular mark. You can watch this particular mark. For chemical sciences, I think to clear JRF, at least you should score above 100 mark. Even for OBC also, you should score above 100 mark. That's the reason why I had analyzed this particular mark. And I had provided you a compiled view in this particular thing. So, this is a minimum mark to qualify joint CSER UGC net chemical sciences under this JRF category. Okay, if you are a general, then your mark should be between 100 to 125. If you are a EWS category, then your mark should be 100. So, this is for 200 marks, friends. So, for 200 marks, you should take 125 marks. So, why I had placed 100 and 125 means the question paper is easy. Then, for 200 marks, you your mark should be 125 marks should be your target. The question paper is very tough. Then, you should write your examination for 100 marks. Okay, since the question paper is very tough, the cutoff will be very low. For EWS, it is 100 mark. For OBC, you should get 90 to 110 mark out of 200. For SCST, and you should get 70 to 90 mark out of 100. And for person with disability, you should get 50 mark. That is 25 percentage. Okay, so what is the advantages or what is the use of knowing this minimum mark before writing your examination? Let me share with you a trick. In the examination hall, the exam is for 3 hours. You, we all will complete the examination with 2 hours itself. And last one now, without sitting simply, take the scribbling pad and calculate the mark in the examination hall itself. Put the question number and near to the question number, what is the status? Whether you had attempted the question. 
whether you have attempted the question put 4 mark or 2 mark what is the mark and at last you should calculate for 200 mark how many marks you are getting if you are belong to obc category for 200 marks you are getting 130 you can stop at that point itself because if you keep on attempting for more marks that will lead to negative marking because many students will lose will fail to clear the csr examination by attempting for this negative marking itself in order to prevent attempting yourself for negative marking that's the reason why i place this minimum mark to clear this CSER examination. So, this particular thing will be very much helpful. Okay, and this is a target mark that you should get. Thank you, friends. Thanks for watching this video.